Okay, so we want to welcome everyone of us to this call today. It's a call to position and win a business grant in 2023. It's a call for everyone to position and win grants in 2023. All right, so we want you to, it's going to be a long teaching. And it's a teaching that is going to inspire you to win grants in 2023. It's a teaching that will transform your life. It's a teaching that I want you to be patient in going through step by step, uh, precept by precept, and you will be able to win a grant in 2023. My name is Dayo Adit Loe, and I'll be your facilitator uh, for today. Uh, thank you, Evis from Cameroon. Uh, we appreciate you for joining this call. Now, I want to take you through our goal in business and money class. We got hundred generals, multi millionaires that will prosper through hard work creativity, honesty, and knowledge every five years. If you can see my screen and you can hear my voice clearly, just type that, just type I can see and I can hear so that we move on as we go ahead in this call. If you can see my screen and if you can hear my voice clearly, just type I can see and I can hear. Just type that so that we know we are together. Type I can see and I can hear. Okay, Ilari says I can see and I can hear. Very good, very good. So this is our goal, to raise 100 generous multi-millionaires that will prosper through hard work, creativity, honesty, knowledge every five years. So we do this a uh, business meeting every month, all right? We do it every month. Okay, thank you, uh, Michael. I can see, I can hear. Daniel, I can see, I can hear. Thank you, Anu. I can see, I can hear. Very good. So we do this every month, all right? And we have a goal to raise multi-millionaires. Now, what is our objective? that every community member will start and run a successful business. That is our objective. And for this group, we have our, our Facebook group and we have our WhatsApp community group. Some of you, you came via our WhatsApp. Why some of you, you came uh, via the Facebook. So our community members will start and run successful business. The next thing, which is our goal, is that our community member will take advantage of grants and global opportunity. And that's the reason why we are taking you through this course. If you are watching the replay of this, just go through this presentation step by step, precept by precept. Now, our community members will set goals and achieve their goals. This is one of the uh, objective of this community. Then community member we set um, and commit to a lifetime in savings and investment that they can hand over to their children's children. That is one of our goals. The member we go from nothing to something. That is our goal. Let's make progress. Now, what are our values in this community? We are people that value personal development through reading. On our Facebook community, every morning we post you uh, part of a book where you read and boost your business mind, your financial mind, your, it increase your knowledge and things like that. Now, the next one is capacity building. We run trainings like this. Uh, very soon in the course of the year, we'll be inviting other people to join us that will be doing interviews for 
uh, periodically uh, during the, the program to empower us. Then another thing we treasure is savings. The saving culture in this community is, is key to us. So you must save and save and save until you become super rich and successful, all right? Then goal setting is also one of the things that we are very, very particular about in this community. You set goals, 50-year goals, 100-year goals. Skill acquisition. We know that with the right skills, then you can earn a lot of money. So you need to uh, equip yourself with skills, especially digital skills. Then the next one is networking. We value networking. Some of you at the end of this program, you will invite me to your church to come and speak. If I did connect with you, there's no way I can get that opportunity. That is the purpose of networking. There are some of you here, you will reach out to me and I will know somebody that can help what you are doing and I connect you together. That's the purpose of networking. Now you are saying, who is this guy? I don't even know about him and things like that. So this is a brief profile I want to quickly share with you. I'm a civil entrepreneur, international business planning and development consultant. I'm a speaker, trainer, author, blogger, a network marketing professional. In 2021, I joined the team of Gopa Consultant Worldwide as a short-time expert, and I'm also still uh, fulfilling that role today. In 2021, I also belong to the Jimite Way Public Speaking Mentoring Program. In 2021 also, uh, I was privileged to be part of the Mentor and Peak Judge or Tony Elumelo Foundation. In 2020, I started my doctoral program in business administration and by God's grace, by the end of 2023, I should be running, I should be running off this doctoral uh, program. The next one is in 2020, I become certified uh, business development service provider uh, by SMEDA. Also in 2020, I had the privilege to be trained at the, at the Metropolitan School of Business and Management in United Kingdom with their Special Executive Master's Program, SEMP. Also, I had the privilege to also be to render service as a business trainer and mentor for the German Corporation for the SME loop. Okay, more about me. In 2018, I started my NGO and I become the executive director of the Dietary Empowerment and Development Initiative. We have been working in this entrepreneurship NGO for 11 years. In 2018, I had the opportunity to win this um, Yali RSC online court nine. He is a junior brother to the Mandela Washington uh, Fellowship. All right. The next one is in 2017, I was selected as part of the top 12 uh, trainers to partake in the Inspire Africa Train the Trainer Entrepreneurship Program. The program was sponsored by US Consulate at the K Center in the US. And in 2016, I have the privilege to win the Tony Elumelu grant as Tony Elumelu entrepreneur. Also in 2016, I started the Diaries Loe business of that we now know today. In 2015, I had the privilege to be part of the top 50 innovative entrepreneurs by BG5. Uh, it's a program sponsored by Diamond Bank. And uh, the program was executed by EDC at the Lagos Business School. So this is just to talk about a few things about myself. So and I'm an alumnus of the Enterprise Development Center of the Lagos Business School. And also uh, I'm a graduate of Obafe Maolo University in Lefe, Nigeria. So that is about me. <clears throat> now uh, let's look at my expressions 
uh, some of the things you need to know about me. Uh, the first one is the Diuradic Fluid Business Hub. Our vision is to connect our uh, entrepreneurs with knowledge and resources. And that's what we do uh, full time. We connect entrepreneurs with knowledge and resources. Another one is the Diuradic Fluid Empowerment and Development Initiative. Uh, this is where I run my NGO. And today we have impacted more than 10,000 youths in Africa. Also, I have a coaching company, that is a coaching company. Uh, we do network marketing coaching and we do grant coaching as well. Now, uh, I have a website where most people connect to me via, uh, which is the adetloe.com. Uh, on this website, we have uh, reached out. The, the website is over nine years now. And in terms of the number of people that we have reached out to is over 3 million young people that we have reached out to through this website. Either they have used our resources, uh, read our article, uh, connect to us to assess grants, opportunity, and things like that. That's what we have been doing on via the platform. I also have a YouTube channel. Uh, this YouTube channel, some of you might be watching the replay of this recording via the YouTube channel. We want you to subscribe to it. This is another way where I reach out to people. If you want to watch the previous recording of our monthly seminars, you go to our YouTube channel, the Adit Loe uh, YouTube channel, then you'll be able to watch our videos. I've done videos on, especially videos on um, network marketing coaching, uh, affiliate marketing coaching. I have a lot of videos on the channel that is helping millions of people to become better and better every day. So I, I want to show you my journey into assessing grants. I The first grant, major grant, I had opportunity to assess is a trainee at the Lagos Business School. You see, when they talk about grants, everything is not about money, all right? It's not all about money. Uh, trainees could be grants. Uh, materials, resources could be grants. Uh, mentorship grants. Um, then money could be grants. So all these things, uh, most of the grants are competitions, okay? You are going to compete. You go out there, you compete before you win those grants, all right? So this is my first experience in 2015, and we graduated uh, after about six months of a thorough uh, training and coaching, and the top five uh, got uh, three million each, and these are the top five, both top fifty, which I belong to, uh, assess that opportunity. Now, this is another grant that I I won in 2016, the Tony Elumelu grant, and I'm going to talk it talk about it in this uh, training. When I won this grant, it became the turnaround for me as far as business is concerned. Somebody is giving me 5,000 US dollars. Uh, at that time, I ran my business via online primarily. But with these grants, I was able to open my first major hub, directly business hub. And that hub has reached out to a lot of people and helped them to start, grow, and expand their business today. My business is consulting, business consulting. That is my sector. And today we are dominating the space both locally and globally because we render services globally. People from US, UK, Canada, people from Liberia, Tanzania, um, all over the world, we reach out to them through this platform. Uh, this is a picture of me. Uh, at the Metropolitan School of Business and Management, um, where I got the Special Executive uh, Master's in uh, Business Administration. 
Okay, so uh, in most of my trainings, I used to show this picture to show you that you can become something, it's just a matter of time. You can be so valuable and so useful, it's just a matter of time. Look at this picture, look at these people, who are they 30 years ago? Who are they 30 years ago? In the next 30 years, who are you going to be? All right, this is just food for thought for us. These people, they are in different industry, Dangote doing massive work in Africa, the richest man in Africa, uh, currently is building the largest refinery in Africa and also one of the largest all over the world. And uh, we have Ibukun Awoshika. Uh, she just handed over as a chairperson of uh, First Bank, a, a bank that is uh, one of the oldest banks in Nigeria. We have Mike Adenuga, uh, the owner of Glow, also has other businesses, Mazugabok, um, the owner of Facebook, doing well. In fact, the age is the youngest. There is a multi-billionaire in dollars. We have Bishop David Oedepo, uh, we have Oprah Winfrey. All these people, 30 years ago, who are they? In the next 30 years, who are you going to become? And I believe so much that you are becoming something and it has to be deliberate. I am becoming something. I'm becoming a voice in my field. All right. I'm becoming a voice, a major voice to be reckoned with. So what are you becoming? So let's begin to dig deeper into the point of conversation for today. How to position and win a grant, a business grant in 2023. Why 2023? 2023 is a unique year that you must take serious. It's a year that you must be deliberate by your actions. It's a year that you must take steps to become something. It's a year that you must decide to do something big. This year already, I'm already making moves. I'm already making moves because I'm going to begin to launch into the kind of transaction I've not done before, I'm launching into it this year. You must look for something big and do. You should be tired of playing small by now. All right? And grants can help you to take quantum leaps. It helped me and it can help you. So how to position and win grants? See, everything is all about positioning. If you position very well, you are going to win grants. So I want to show us grants that we can apply for this January 2023. And the first one is the Tony Elumelu grants. A lot of you have been discouraged. You know, you've been really discouraged. Maybe you have been applying and you have not been selected. Or the process is just too long. You cannot wait. Of all the grants we have in Africa now, Tony Lumelu grants is still one of the easiest ones for you to assess. You know why? They don't have upper age limit restriction. That means if you are 30, you can apply. If you are 40, you can apply. If you are 50, you can apply. And once they pick you, they will keep on sending opportunity for you, to you. loan opportunity, other grants opportunity at about, I think up to 30, either 10 or 30 women, one 10 million era from an organization that partner with Tony Elumelu. So Tony Elumelu just sent me to people that have won before and say, feel this. And once they feel it, they send it to the organization, they pick their top 30, they get their money to expand. As a business owner, if you are going to expand your business, you need money. If you are going to do what you have not done before, you need money. Some of you, you want to do backward integration and begin to open up farms, open up factories, your processing factory, you want to buy bigger machines, you need grants. All right? So 
I'm going to give you strategies that we now have used over time to win grants, all right? And I want you to treasure it uh, so much so well in such a way that you can also win grants in 2023. I will share all the strategies uh, to you because the replay of this uh, video, people that want to assess it, they are going to pay for it. It's not going to be free. All right, that's the reason why we give everybody the opportunity to come here live and come and listen. The, the replay of this video is not free. We are not going to put it free on, on Facebook, no. Because we'll share today strategies for people that really desire to win in 2023. Uh, currently, we are doing the live streaming of this on our Facebook group dedicated to grants. So if you are watching the replay and you don't know about this Facebook group on grants and uh, assessing uh, business opportunity in Africa, the link will be made available to you. Then you can join so that you can consistently get updates from us. The next one is, you see, I keep telling people, new grants come out every year. There are some grants that has been consistent for years, like Tony Lumelo, maybe this year will be their ninth edition or 10, I'm not too sure. There are some grants that are becoming every year they do it. But there are new grants. I remember when my organization won the Facebook grants for uh, COVID. We won 400,000 naira cash and two about 250,000 naira Facebook free uh, ad credits. We won it. Why? Because we are positioned and they pick us. Everything is all about positioning. Now look at this. And I think this is the first time this organization will be doing this. Call for application. Business Resilience Program for Women Entrepreneurs in Nigeria. If you are a woman on this call and you desire grants opportunity, I want you to tell me the business you want to do and tell me if it's a new idea or is an existing business. Just type it in the chat box. I'm looking at the chat box now. So just say new business, poultry farming, or existing business, fashion, existing business, school, education, existing business, retail. I want to, because I want to use your business as an example. All right, I want to use your business as an example. Oh yeah, yeah, type it, type it, type it. I'm, I'm looking at the chat boss. Because women will win a lot of grants this year. Women, Kai. Okay, Bakari says, assisting business food. Okay, good. Where is on this call? That you are a woman, you want to assess brand. Type your business, if it's existing or new. Now this one. I want all the women here to apply for it. Assistant business consulting and counseling services. Very good. Uh, my wife won a grant on counseling and uh, career services uh, some times ago. So your business can win grants. You understand now? New business, renewable energy. Awesome, awesome. Uh, new super combo oat milk. All right. Now, I want all of you to apply for this particular one. If you are hearing this about for the first time, you can screenshot it. All right. I'll give you that. Go ahead. Screenshot it. Fashion O. Very good. Now, call for application business resilience program for women entrepreneurs in Nigeria. Business resilience program for women entrepreneurs running nano and micro businesses. The program benefits financial management, digital literacy, business formalization, micro grants. Are you a female entrepreneur running a nano or micro business? Do you wish to increase your financial and digital literacy skills by learning essential business management skills?
then apply here. Like I said, you can screenshot it. Uh, this particular one is a new grant, all right? It's a new grant that we really, really want you to apply for. Uh, poultry, assisting poultry, apply for this. Now, number three, Flourishing Africa. Flourishing Africa is a program for women also, open for 18 years to 50 years. If you are here, you have a child that is above 18 years. Start training them on how to assess grants. If you add 10 to 18 years, that's 28. By the time they are 28, they will be winning grants back to back, back to back, back to back. All right? And there are grants for students. There are grants for students. So you can also screenshot this for a woman. And all these grants, they have application deadline. All right? They have application deadline. Like this one now, it's going to close today. 29th. So you can apply before 12 midnight. January 29th is going to close. Now, if you did not win this year, you can position and win next year. <clears throat> it was not the time, the first time I applied for Tony Elumelu Grant that they picked my idea. It was not the first time. It was the second time. Imagine if I've been discouraged and I didn't. I did go ahead to, to do it, all right? Now let's move on. Uh, Michael said, I've applied for Flourishing Africa grant already. Awesome, awesome. I wish you all the best, awesome. Anytime they ask you to write business, I, I, anytime they ask you to write a business plan, just reach out to me, we'll do a free review for you so that at least you can have a tall die before you apply. If you are in Kaduna State, this application is for you. Kashim Ibrahim Fellowship. All right? Kashim Ibrahim Fellowship is open uh, for you. So you can apply for that if you are in Kaduna. So all of you that you are on this call, all right, or you will buy, or any of you that purchase the replay of this um, presentation, you I am guaranteeing you a free review for a grant application. So any grants application you want to apply for, just reach out to me. If you have finished writing, just reach out to me. I'll do a free review for you. You understand? That means you write yourself, then we do a free review for you. If you want me to write for you, yeah, I, most of the time I don't do all these writings again. I have a team that does that and we are going to charge you. As an organization, that's what we do. We charge you. And then uh, once you can pay for it, either business plan, but for review, I'm telling you that you have a free review for one grant application. But subsequent free review, subsequent review, then I'm going to charge for it. But it's something minimal also that you can afford. And uh, the next one is the brave empowering women in business. I've shared with you three opportunities now that is targeted to women. That is how powerful uh, women is assessing a uh, grants opportunity. You understand now. So we want you to position for this. You can also screenshot this. Now, this is for forward funders. Apply for targeted forward founder accelerator program. If you are in this category, baby and toddler, beauty, food and beverages, health and personal care, household essentials, pets, toys, and entertainment, then you can apply for this particular opportunity. Now, there are so many uh, grants that you can apply for. You are welcome. Adi, Nora, you're welcome. There are so many grants that you can apply for. Um, for people that will buy the replay of this, um, of this 
grant uh, training, we are going to send you a um, compilation of grants that you can apply for. There are a lot of grants you can apply for, that you can position for. So there are things that you can, you can position for. So we will definitely send you that. So how to position and win business grants in 2023? I want to start sharing the strategies with you right now. Some of you, you've had these strategies before, but you have not made use of it, all right? You have you had a strategy before, you have not made use of it. This is an opportunity for you. So the First one, you may not be able to join us on this call. Not just smartphone, you need a laptop, all right? Then you need to have an active email address that you can share almost regularly, almost every day. If you want to win grants, you need to be checking your email every day. You have applied for something, they send you a mail that submits your CACA registration. You did not check your mail for five days and the thing expires. That's attitude of some people. So get a laptop and access to unlimited data. You know, in this part of the world, we, don't say we the, the access to data is such a way that we try to manage it. All right. But if you want to win grants, you cannot be managing data because you're always on the line researching your idea, restoring, watching videos, you're already, especially when they ask you to join online training or Zoom call like this. You need good data to do that. So the first thing is you need to come up with an idea. This idea could be a new idea. It could be an existing idea. It could be for profit idea. You need that new idea, all right? Once you, once you have this new idea, then you are sure that that idea, you screen it. Is it an idea that can win grants or idea that cannot win grants? Are you getting, there are some ideas that cannot win grants. Any idea that is not affecting your industry, especially buying and selling. If you are just doing buying and selling, you cannot win grants. But if you come up with something that can help people to assess more markets, if you come up with something that can help people with storage, if you come up with something that can help a lot of SMEs to benefit from it, then surely grant is waiting for you. It could be an NGO. Some of you, you are here, you run NGO. Uh, this is an opportunity for you. You understand now? This is a real resources for you that you can actually uh, assess. Now, give your idea, your business a name, give it a logo, create a brand around it. Once you do that, then you claim your online property for it. So these are some of my brands that I did lay business up. Uh, Expert Training, does NG, uh, Dia, this Lawyer Environment and Development Initiative, or Guard Digits, even though these two particular brands, we've put on a, a, a course on building them, all right, because they require a lot of resources. And we're trying to focus on the ones that we have already built, where we want to expand it. So get your friend, if you don't have too much money, get your friends to do you a simple logo that you can use, all right? Then you build your online presence for your both personal and business. So what I'm saying is that you need to separate 
your personal business uh, social media accounts from your business social media accounts. Don't mix them together. In some application, they will ask you separately. Give us your personal Facebook page, yes, Facebook uh, profile. Then give us your business Facebook link. Now, once you open these properties, you need to start uploading branded uh, information items about what you are doing. You are a tailor. Do you have Instagram page? They will ask for you because that is what they see as evidence. They cannot see you. They cannot come to your house. They cannot come to your business environment. This is where they will see it. You understand now? This is where, so you need to really build it and build it well. Now, the next thing is corporate registration of your business. You need to open your business. Uh, you can register it as a business name, a limited liability company, you can do it as an NGO, all right? You then you get your, your T number. In your country, uh, any name they call it, just register with the Corporate Affairs Commission of your country. That's of the world. So you really want to um, get information about what it takes to open a limited liability company, what it takes to open an NGO or your business name. So once you do that, then you open a corporate account for your business. You must be able to separate your business money from your personal money. You must be able to do that. It's very, very uh, important that you separate your business money from your personal money. And how do you do that? By opening a corporate account for your business. Anything you are making, you ensure that that money pass through your corporate account. How did we won the Facebook grants? Simply because we run a corporate account and they asked us to print our six month back statement. And we did it. And they saw it, how we pay staffs, how we pay our vendors, people that write for us, people that work for us, our IT people, how we pay them. And they also saw how we make money, writing a business plan, business consultation, all the things that we sell online. And they gave it to us. We, I also remember during COVID, we also won the federal government of Nigeria uh, payroll support uh, grants. All my staff, they received money. They received 30,000 naira each. In addition to their normal salary. That's the reason why you must position. All the things I'm saying to you now is about positioning. If you're not well positioned enough, they will not give you the grants. If we go to your social media page now, we will, are we going to see any updated information about what you are doing? If you go to my own personal profile, you will see the flyer for this event. So if they tell you that Dio is a trainer, the flyer is already giving validation to that statement. Do you get what I'm saying now? If you are following me, just type, I'm following. Just type, I'm following, I'm following. If you are following me on this call, type, I'm following, I'm following, I'm following. Just type it. Type it, type it, type it. Let me know that you are here. Type, I'm following, I'm following, I'm following. Okay, other Inga says, I'm following. Um, Martina, I'm following. Kendi, I'm following. Michael, Ellen, I'm following. Ah, awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you, thank you for following. All right, great. Let's move on. So separate your business money from your corporate uh, money. And I also encourage that your business should save and your personal self should save. So one of the things I used to do as a goal, I said to myself, I said, um, I said any goals for my business, I said any goals for myself, 
I and my business, we are separate. So I say for my business, I say for myself. In my business, there is a particular money revenue we want to eat before the end of the year. Personally, also, there is a particular revenue I want to eat as an individual. So in my business, my business pays me salary. I don't just come and just dip money, dip my hand into my company's account. I just move money anyhow. I don't do that. My company pay me salary. High name situation where my company cannot pay me. It will be on record that my company is owing me. For example, if my company is supposed to pay me 50000 every month, and for the last six months, we have not done a lot of business that can pay me that amount of money, it will be on record that my business is owing me 50000 naira in six places. Simple. So that the day your breakthrough will come, you know the amount of money that you are entitled to. And as you build the business, you have the liberty to also increase your salary because that's the only way you can pull money away from your business. Your own salary is the only way that you can touch your company's money. Pay yourself salary. As the business grows and your contribution to the business is growing, you can now increase that salary. Now write a full detailed business plan. For NGO, you need a project proposal for the idea or project you are doing. In my organization, we write business plans. In fact, that is one of our key uh, business service that we provide. So if you need business plan templates that you can buy, we have it. We have over uh, close to 130 uh, business plans. 130 that you can assess. And we can also do a tailor-made business plan for you. For project proposal, if you need templates also, you can reach out to us. We'll, we'll develop templates for you. If you want us to write a tailor-made one for you, we'll also do that for you. But I will just give you briefly an outline you can follow in writing your business plan. Another thing I want to say to you is that if you like to learn how to write business plan, we have a coaching and certification program for business plan writing. All right, it's hundred thousand naira. If you have interest in that, it's for one month. You can reach out to us; we will take you through the process. Business plan coaching and certification uh, writing program. We will give you certificate after the the course, and if you are very good. You can be receiving jobs from us almost immediately if you are very good. And that's the, 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 the program. It's just on right here. And in the future, we plan that we are going to increase the price. So we have the executive summary. That's what you write in a, in a business. Uh, we have the business description. Uh, you want to uh, describe your business, business description. Uh, we have products and services. Uh, product and services, you want to explain what you sell. Uh, you can give us pictures. You can give us um, other things that you think can help. The next one is market analysis. Uh, market analysis. This market analysis is a very major component of the business plan that you need to do some form of research. Who are your target market? Uh, where do they live? How can you reach them? The population you are reaching out to, how can you uh, reach them? Uh, we have competition. Your competitors analysis, analyze those people that you are in that same field together. People that your customer can collect their money, uh, uh, collect your money, and uh, instead of patronizing you, they can go and patronize other people. They are your competitors. But the analysis is even deeper. There are people in, that are not in your industry that they are also your competitors. And there was a time that the, the food, the drink uh, 
industry in Nigeria, they experience a downward fall. What happened? Telecommunication came into Nigeria and instead of people buying drinks, they are using that money to do uh, buy airtime for calling. And all their sales just dropped. They don't know what is happening until they call consultant and they did research and they discovered that somebody that's supposed to spend, let's say, $5 on drinks before, that person has spent $3 already on calling, buying airtime and making calls. So you, you need to keep doing research and analysis every time. We have sales and marketing, all right? Sales and marketing is a major part of this business plan writing. And you need to analyze it. You need to show us strategy you want to use to reach out to your target market and all that. We have the operational plan. How do you want to uh, plan your operation day by day? Imagine you have a restaurant, all right? You have a restaurant and you are cooking beans and bread in the morning. When are you going to start? Um, when I, when, what time will you start planning that food? You want to cook beans. And by 7 a.m. in the morning, customer needs to start buying bread and beans to eat. If you are the CEO of that business, when will you start planning to buy, to, to prepare that beans? Can anybody tell me in the comment section? Because I want to, I want to see how you want to plan your operations. As from seven a.m., people want to start eating beans and bread and go to school or go to work. As the CEO of that restaurant, when will you start? Uh, when will you start cooking? When? Okay, somebody says uh, five a.m. My guy say I will start by five a.m. Uh, Ten day says I'm going to start by three a.m. I don't say I should start cooking by four a.m. Now, all of you, you are picking different times. Do you know that you are right because that is your strategy, and that's what operation is all about. Somebody that is doing three a.m. he knows the reason. Somebody that is doing four a.m. he knows the reason. Somebody that is doing five a.m. It might be that the person has started cooking a day before. In the night, he has picked the beans, do all the decantation, and cook it to reach out. Uh -huh. So I say, I will start cooking a day before. You see different operational strategy now. And that's the reason why in our businesses, our operations are different. Our operations are different. In our different businesses, our operations are different. So we have management plan. These are people that are going to uh, be joining you to manage that business. Not necessarily your staff, but your management staff. Uh, these people must be people with experience, with knowledge. Some of them might be consultant. They might not be coming to your business every day but they are there, so you need to provide them. Financial plans and projections. This is a major part that we talk about the startup summary or your expansion plan summary. It will talk about your income statement, your balance sheets, and your cash flow. So we have models for this. If you come for the 100K training, we have models for it. We will share with you. There are templates you can use that we will adjust itself. In our organization, we work with almost five templates of financial models. So we take you all through all those things and you'll be able to, to do. So I don't know if there's anybody here you would love to learn about uh, our business plan, uh, writing, uh, coaching and certification program, it's on Reiki, but if you are here and you would like to be part of that program, it's a, it's a month's program. People can join at any time. 
It's a month program and it's tailor made for you alone. It's not a group coaching call. It's a personal one. At least within that one month, we're going to have a two sessions with you one-on-one. -on -one. We share material with you and just lead you into learning and all that. If you're on this call and you would like to take that opportunity, I'm going to give you 20% discount. All right, 20% discount. You pay 80,000 Naira. You might not pay the 80,000 Naira once. The only thing is that within the uh, call, within the one month, you must finish paying everything. All right, so that is it. So if you are interested in, in that uh, program, uh, our manager will drop a phone number now. So after this call, you call the number. All right, uh, Mr. Peter, you can drop the number. Also for people on Facebook, you can drop the number for them. So if you're on this call, it's only for people on this call. If you did not join this call, it's hundred thousand you are going to pay. So we are taking attendance of people on this call also, so we know your name. If it's not your name that is on your handle, you can as well edit it so that I can show your name. So that anytime you reach out to us, you know, I've promised you two things now. One free review for any grant you are applying for. The second one is that you have 20% discount for our uh, business plan writing, our coaching and certification program. You have 20% discount for that. So if you are interested, our manager will drop the phone number that you should reach out to uh, on the chat room, I will be able to do that. All right, so let's move on. Now it is time to look for grants opportunities. What you don't know, you cannot take advantage of. What you don't see, you cannot take opportunity of it. A lot of people, I, I remember, when I started applying for grants and all this opportunity, I discovered that there are so many things I didn't know until I, I met my grants and the fundraising mentor in the name of Mene Blessing. Uh, Mene Blessing was the one that opened my eyes to this opportunity. The only thing is that at that time, I was almost out of the age range of 18 to 35 years. All right? I'm almost uh, out of 18 to 35 years. Um, somebody said the phone number has not been sent. Uh, don't worry. The uh, in a short while the number will be will be dropped. All right. The number will be dropped in a short while. So as we as I begin to dig deep into this grant writing, it took a mentor to open my eyes. And that's the reason why I'm doing this teaching and training today. So that at least with the information I will give to you here, it will open somebody's eyes and tell you that you too can assess opportunities. So where do you get grant if, uh, opportunities from? The information and the opportunity. So I'm opening the website to us right now. You can take a screenshot. You go to this website uh, on directly.com, which is our own website. We only share grants opportunity that we can mentor you on, that we want you to reach out to us to review. So we don't share a lot of grants opportunity, but if you want that we share, you are sure that we are there for you to, to do that. We have opportunitydex.org, a lot of grants information they upload every day. Opportunityforafrica.com, a lot of grants, scholarship, and things like that. And also, one of our colleagues in the industry, Otibe Air Team, also share some of these grants opportunities. So go to those websites, and you are sure to get uh, information that you will need for assessing grants uh, opportunity. Uh, don't worry, at the end of this coaching call, I'm going to introduce another course for you 
that I really want you to be part of. Uh, that course uh, has a coaching program for people that want to access grants, all right? And I'm partnering with that particular course because there are so many things that you cannot learn in this kind of call like this. But with that kind of coaching, you will uh, be able to experience it. And people that will eventually get that grant course, I will also have some one-on-one -on -one with them at the end of it. So those websites I showed you, all right, I want you to do some few things on those websites. Subscribe to their email list of the website that share information for funding opportunities. Follow them on their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. All right, you need to follow them. On all those places, uh, follow them, okay? The other thing you also need to do is, it's not every opportunity you should apply for, but study the one which fits your business idea and apply for it. All right, so these are the things that you need to know as you do your business. Uh, so uh, quickly, the phone number I want you to call after now, uh, I will drop it now so that I know that one is on the table, 0810056. Okay, I'm going to drop it for us now. Five, six, two, six, zero, one, five, six. Okay, so um, this particular contact is what you should reach out to if you want to take advantage of the 20% discount. Uh, it's open to everyone now. So that's the number you reach out for. Uh, I will also share my contact after this call. You can also reach out to me also so not every opportunity you can apply for there are some opportunities that they are for agri agri business you cannot go and apply as a fashion designer to win an agri grant it's not going to work they, are, they will not pick you all right this is my website that i tell you can get some grants uh information there especially uh the one that will help you to review uh, in these other websites, they don't have people to review their grants application. We are almost the only one doing that service on that space. So when you get all information here and you put your grants application together, you put it in Microsoft Word, you copy the questions, then you answer it. You can do a do me, a dummy application so that you can see all their questions, then you extract them into a Microsoft Word, answer them, then send it to me for review. Uh, this is another one, Opportunity for Africans. They have those information call for application, scholarship, fellowship, contest, internship, and things like that. Uh, if you are an NGO, I will encourage you to subscribe to the paid version of fundsforngo.org. Uh, my organization subscribe to their paid version, their premium version. Uh, it's around, I think, $50 or $99, I'm not too sure. They will send you almost every day grants you can apply for, either as an NGO or for profit business. All right? So these are secrets. You are looking for information. This is how to get information now, and you need to really uh, take action. Go to funds for NDO dot org and assess their premium uh, membership so let's begin to look at tips to winning your next grant in 2023 tips to winning your next grant in 2023 so i'm going to share those tips for you now then i will introduce the the course for you 
then we will round up this question call. Are you getting value so far? I want to really know. Are you getting value so far from this call? Let me know. Let me know in the comment section. Are you getting value? Are you getting value? Okay, thank you. Ellie says, I'm getting value. Awesome, awesome. Fadun says, yes. Arno says, it's becoming a blessing. Wow, wow, wow. That's, that's, that's great. That's great. Uh, Sunday says, yes, yes. Awesome. I'm glad you are getting massive value for this. And that's the reason why we are not going to I uh, release this video for free for people. They will pay for it because we're also taking time. Uh, wow, <clears throat> Mojere Foods, thank you very much. Uh, great value, thank you very much. So I'm going to show you tips to win your next business grant in 2023. These tips I'm putting together for you here. It took me years to learn them, all right? Uh, if you come to my library, you will see at least five different books or grants that are bought, that I'm reading, I'm consuming. People that work in my organization, all of them must read it. In fact, if you are just joining us in my organization as a new staff, you have about 20 books you must read within three months. If you cannot, ask, if you cannot achieve that, we just say bye-bye to you. All right? So... All the things I'm sharing with you, it took me years of uh, trials and errors, uh, learning via mentors, and through books to learn all these things. There is no good grant book in Nigeria that I don't have in my library. There is none. Any new book I see on grant writing, I, I make portions of it because I know this is my field. All right? So... Uh, the first thing is have a good knowledge of the problem you are solving and you should be able to communicate it. All right? Have a good knowledge of the problem you are solving and be able to communicate it. The second thing, develop a compelling solution that is innovative. Don't just say I'm doing fish farming. Don't just say I'm doing protein farming. What is innovative about it? Is it that you have a new technology that helps us to produce bigger eggs? Or do you have a, a new technology that helps us to raise organic uh, products, organic foods? All right? Do, do you know people want something unique? the donors, people that want to give you money, they want something that they have not done before. All right? Things that they have not done before, they, those are the things they want. Now, start the solution to show proofs. They call it prototype. You need to start the solution to show proofs. Uh, it's called prototype. Go and start it. it, it some call it minimum viable product, MVP. Produce something that people can see. I remember when I won the Tony Lumelu grant, I was able to show them my website. I've been doing something. I've been doing consultation. I've been impacting people. My platform has helped people. Now I need to open my first outlet, my, my first physical business up. I need your money. They gave it to me. But if I just write and say, Everything is just new. And I told them it's a new idea. So I won with a new idea. Because the orb is a new idea. We don't have it, the fiscal. They have something online I'm doing. They want to listen to your story. What have you done before in the past? The next one is have a compelling story about yourself, your team, and your board member. They want to hear a story. That is why they call it storytelling. You don't know storytelling, you cannot win grants. When I'm reading your application, it's going to show you storytelling. Uh, I remember about two years ago, my organization, we announced a grant 
uh, that I want to give out 100,000 for three people, that's 300,000. And we have people to just do 250 words about their business and apply. We'll get back to them. Uh, that year was a wonderful year for us because we were able to select the three businesses that won the grants. And we wired the 100,000 naira into their account. It gave me joy. I, I hope that this year we'll be able to do for 10 people. That's a millionaire. All right. So I, I'm hoping I, I, will, I will be working with my team to look at the modalities because every year we do this program. We call it the Raditloy Empowerment and, the, uh, and uh, that added to entrepreneurship and leadership uh, fellowship that left. So we're going to work something out that at least 10 people will be able to assess 100,000 naira each to support their business. Uh, some of them use it to buy machine. Some of them use it to buy materials for their business. Uh, there's somebody that one is into only production. Uh, another one, one she's into event management, another one, one, one she was into a cake a business. So she was buying a cake mixer and, and things like that. So these are the, so you need to tell us a compelling story. Now come up with a list of funders. All right, come up with a list of funders and pass our this in your niche. Come up with a list of funders and pass our days in your name. So if you are into fashion, the two women program are introduced to us. If you are into fashion, you are qualified to apply. All right? So look at people that have been successful in your field. They have been winning grants. Which grant have they won before? Go and recite that grant. Like if you are in my field now and I've won to the Lumelo grant before, that means that should be in your list. You too should desire to win it because somebody in your field has won it. Uh, the next one is understand the eligibility criteria and selection. You really want to understand the eligibility and the criteria for selection. They will always publish it, all right? Then get past winners, ask questions from them. Any past winners you see, ask them questions. Can my idea win? The way I've put it together, does it make sense? Any app can you give to me to win this? And if they charge you, please pay. You. If they say, my time is so precious, I do consulting around this. If you can pay me, you have my time and I will help you to look at it. If they ask you to pay, pay. Do have what is called entitlement mentality. Some people will call you and the way they will be bragging on, on phone. They need your help. They are still bragging. They are pouring salt upon injury. You are not going to get anything that way. If they charge for their time, pay for it. You know, they used to say this adage in Lagos that I did not come and can't reach in Lagos. It's money I, I came to count. <laughs> you understand? So anybody that charge you, pay for it, you can negotiate. Can they, if somebody say, to review your work is 20,000, you can negotiate. But to say you are not going to pay anything, then you are not ready yet. Now, learn how to pitch. This is very important aspect of grant winning. You need to learn how to pitch. Pitching is a skill. Nobody will do that for you. People can write for you, but people will not pitch for you. You have to do, do the pitching. So go online, go on YouTube, go and watch videos of Shark Tank, uh, videos of Lion's Day. See how people are pitching. All right, then learn pitching. Now have a solid budget. Always use the template given to you. So they will give you budgets. Uh, they will give you um, templates to use to prepare your financials. When we say budgets, just know that we are talking about financials. 
So ensure you use any template you have been given. And if they are giving you $5,000, don't say you need $50,000, no. Just look at what $5,000 can do in that your idea and package that aspect. Because nobody wants to give you $5,000 and you will not do anything. You will still be looking for $45,000 before you take action. They are not going to support you that way. The next one is be a master of writing and submitting grants application. Some people, they don't, they will apply. And instead of them to answer the question, the deadline, they will say, ah, today is the deadline and I've not done anything. And that is how uh, the opportunity will slip from their hands. You need to be submitting your grants application. Write and submit. Write something, do something. You don't know the opportunity that can come to you. I, I remember the last application I, I wrote, even though I didn't win, but it was interesting for me. Facebook wanted to give out people that manage groups that have Facebook, they want to give them grants. And I saw what they, their requirement, and I was like, I will meet up with this requirement, and I just applied. Now I've learned the application. If I'm going to apply again, I know what to do because they will also look at the engagement of your group to decide who they pick or not. Okay, so always review your write-up for any grant opportunity with a professional. You really want to do just submitting. Some people will just apply and submit. In fact, some people have been applying for five years and they have not been winning. And they keep on doing the same thing the same way, expecting different results. They will now say, uh, they know people that are there, that it's going to be, uh, they, are, they know people they will pick. They will, they will just sum, summarize it like that. So you want to be sure that a third or second eye or third eye or fourth eye go through your work. So if you come to us as an organization, we charge for reviews. But like I said, everybody on this call, you are going to have free review from me but we, for your first uh, application, the subsequent one now, because the only way I can ensure you win grants this year is if I'm engaged with you, helping you to review what you are writing. That's the way. It's a commitment for my own end, but it's going to be, a success for me when all the people that are on this call, or if you are, uh, if you purchase the replay of this video, is a success for me when we have all of you win grants, different different grants, and things like that. All right. Now the next thing I want to show us is that there are inside laws of grants application. We call them inside laws because, you know, in, in this world, we have the physical side and the spiritual side. See, any grants application you apply for, believe that you can win. Just believe it. Now, be positive, even if you don't win. Okay, I've applied for the Facebook group grant. I did not win. I'm still positive. I'm still happy. All right, so be positive even if you don't win. That is called determination and persistence. Now be connected with people with information, like you are connected to me now. Then apply, apply, apply. Keep applying. Uh, I listened to a video of a lady. Uh, this lady, she has won more than 15 grants. She said she has applied for more than 50 grants, different, different grants that they did not pick up. But when you look at her profile, she has more than 15 grants she has won from 2019 to date. What does that mean? Keep applying after a while. Once you have positioned very well, keep applying. After a while, they will start picking you. And keep pushing your business. Keep on getting results from your business. In no time, they will start picking you for grants. I know some of you have questions. Start putting your questions together. We'll start opening the floor for questions very soon. <clears throat> Get connected to a mentor. 
So I'm, I'm ready and available to mentor you, uh, especially if you buy any of these coaching programs we are showing you, all right? Uh, the one I'm going to show you very soon, that one is dedicated to grants, all right? Then the business plan coaching, there's also grants uh, coaching around it also, because we are going to train you to be able to write grants for other people and make money through it, not just business plan alone. Now, if you are an NGO, this is one is for you. Write a proposal for your idea. A proposal is always good for NGO funding. You need a proposal for it. Uh, this proposal, it has a template and I'm gonna show you now, okay? Uh, it has a template that you can follow that is going to help you. Now, this template starts with cover letter. Cover letter. Uh, this cover letter is something that shows your expression of interest and why you need the grant. Now, we have an abstract or executive summary. Um, we have problem statement or need statement. Why do you want the funding? What is the problem? Then the methodology to meet the needs, which is your solution. You want to explain it. Another aspect is monitoring and evaluation plan. Monitoring and evaluation plan. Then we have project and program sustainability. Program, 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 we have institutions, experience, and capacity. Then we have budget. If you are an NGO and you want to come up with a project proposal, to write project proposal for you is 250,000 Naira. If you want my organization to write it for you. But we have templates you can follow. That template is 25,000 Naira. So that template, you will just go there, you edit the, to the topic, you put your own topic, you will see the way everything is crafted. Then you can write one for yourself. Your NGO must have what we call a team. It is also called thematic area. It could be education, it could be get shy, it could be climate, it could be uh, economic empowerment, it could be drug rehabilitation, it could be ads, it could be environment, uh, it could be climate change, it could be a uh, circular economy, all these uh, ways to wealth. You understand your NGO can be in any of those uh, teams. Now, the next one is your NGO must fit into any of the 17 sustainable development goals. SDG program, you must fit into it. Okay, most funding opportunities have their own focus on the SDG program. So you want to be sure that your business or your NGO fits into that. And I'm gonna show you this 17 SDG. <clears throat> I'm gonna show you this 17 SDG. We have no poverty, uh, zero hunger, good health and well being, no poverty, uh, zero hunger. You know that one is agriculture, anything agriculture. You don't want us to go hungry. You want to feed the nation, feed the world. You are under zero hunger. All right? Good health and well being, quality education, gender equality clean water and sanitation, affordable and clean energy, decent work and economic growth, industry and innovation and infrastructure, reduce inequality, sustainable cities and communities, responsible consumption and production, uh, climate action, life below water, life on land, peace, justice, and strong institution, 
partnership for the goals. These are 17 SDG. Your NGO must fit into this. And also your for-profit business should fit into any of these also. Uh, the next one is, um, at the end of this presentation, I'm going to list out some grants you can apply for. I will show you and explain everything to you. Because in 2023, you should apply and win grants. All right? Most applications have their own questions and they, are, they have their own timeline and there are techniques to answering them. Now, most times you get recession letter, but you have to use that as a learning period. Today, I'm a fellow of the Tony Lumen Foundation grant, but the first application I wrote, my idea was rejected. They didn't reject you, it's your idea, they rejected. And the second time I applied, I took the idea. The first one I applied for was, uh, I want to do vocational training institutes. The second one I applied for is uh, a business of, and I know the difference. The vocational training institute is not transforming any sector, but the business of is going to transform a whole sector and a whole community. So I know the reason why they picked the idea. So with your business plan, you can approach family and friends to be an investor. So when you are raising money for your business, you know the essence of grants is to raise money for your business. Grants is not the only way to raise money for your business. You can actually, with your business plan, approach family and friends to invest in your business. That will take today. Uh, at some point, we learned that his uncle borrowed him 500,000 there. And he also said that he returned that money in six months. So it's not just about borrowing money, be ready to return money. Some people, as they collect your money like this, they just disappear. So you want to be sure that you need that money and you can repay it. You show them that, you know, most of the time people will say, no, but my uncle will not give me, uh, will not invest in my business. The only challenge is that you have not showed them what, how they we are going to benefit, what is going to benefit them. If it's a loan, how many interest percentage are you giving to them? Are you giving them shares and things like that? Don't ever go to family and friends as a beggar. No, that's no good. Go as something that has something of value to offer. Somebody that has opportunity to offer something of value. So you don't go there as beggars. Now you can take your business plan to a commercial bank, but you know they need some things like collateral. They need a guarantor. You also need to be aware of their interest rates. In any country you are, there are interest rates to loans. Microfinance bank can also be common, can also be another option for your business. Now, the easiest way to raise funds, do you want to hear? It is to raise it from yourself. You need to cultivate a savings uh, culture. You need to save. Somebody say, I don't have savings. Then, do you have asset that you can sell? Like your car? A lot of people are traveling out now. Jackpot. Do you know why they are so confident and they, they are taking that decision and they are traveling out. They have a said they can sell to raise the money. I had a story of somebody that sold his house for 21 million naira. I traveled out. Sold his house for 21 million naira. I traveled out. If you don't have that kind of asset, no, who is going to give him 21 million naira to travel? Are you getting what I'm saying now? So you can sell any of your assets to start your business. To be your card, to be your phone, to be your shares and things like that. If you are here and you you are a salary earner, save your salary to raise your startup capital. Don't eat everything. Somebody will say the money is not enough. There is not going to be a time that is going to be enough. 
if you meet Dangote today without you, his money is not enough. He's still borrowing money. Do you know how much he borrowed to build what he's building now, the, the Dangote refinery? But he's starting somewhere. All right. Now, advice for startup. Uh, for young people just starting out in business, don't focus on borrowing. Borrowing should not be your starting point. All right. Focus on, on the service side of your business. There's always something you can do that you don't need money to do that thing and people will pay you. Look for that thing. Then start saving money to now do what you really want to do. Learn a skill and trade with it. All right. Uh, stay on funding. Use your personal money to start a business. You reach out to family and friends to support the business. You look for grants opportunity. You look for venture capitalists or angel investor. You look for loan when the business grows. All right? So this is the trend. Start with your personal money. From there, don't go and collect money from friends and family when you yourself have not put your own money into starting it. Then you look for grants. Then, you know, we said most of the time, people that want to give you grants, they want businesses that have been in existence. Even if it is for six months, even if it's for three months, you have registered with CACA, you have spent money, you have your website and things like that. Hey, those are the people they want to deal with. Virtual capital is same thing. You cannot come down with new ideas. Before you now say you want to take loan, all these things must have been, uh, you must have passed through that one. So uh, in summary, as I begin to round up, document your business or your NGO. Document. When I say document, it means that you need to put things into proper perspective. Document your business or your NGO. Keep records. I remember during the UWIN program, because I work with uh, a lot of people, that was how I started my consulting work. I, I consulted for a lot of people that won the UWIN grants. The first thing they had to bring is their record. Go and bring your invoice, evidence that you are doing business. So keep records, take pictures. That is what your social media is all about. Take pictures, have signed documents have bank statements. I remember I missed a grant of 40,000 US dollar. I lost that grant. I was already at the final stage. But what happened was that the, the evidence I produced was not in my brand name. I told them that I want to, they were looking for existing rice factory. I was running a business that want to start a rice factory. So during the uh, interview, so I told them I brought out a rice sample, but that rice sample was not in my brand name. It was another person's uh, brand name, but I have records that shows that I sell the offer the rice. So that was how I lost the grant. They were looking for an existing factory. I run, uh, I want to just start the factory and that's, that's it. So you, you need to really be careful in some of these things because it gives you experience now. Video documentation of your work, your NGO work. Some of you, you finish a major program. You need to put it where people can see it. Put it on newspaper. Do you know that this January program that we are finishing now, this January program that we are finishing now, don't be surprised in the next two weeks, you can see it in newspaper that I added to a hosted his first program for the year, uh, business and money class with that. I did Louis, uh, he spoke about assessing grants. You see it in newspaper. Why are we doing that? 
visibility. People, you need documentation that they can also trust. When Punch newspaper carry your work, and when ordinary websites carry your work, they will rate the one in Punch newspaper than that other one. And it will cost money, of course. But that is how to get these things. Website, blog, Facebook page, show your work and your pictures, your thoughts and videos in those places. Okay, so this is the course I want to recommend for you. Um, how to get free funding and other resources to start and grow your business. Uh, I will send the link to our WhatsApp group. The course is 30,000 Naira. So you can shout me up to get it. We'll send you the link. I will affiliate to this particular course on Expandia. All right, and I recommend it because I don't need to reinvent the wheel. Anybody that buy the course through my link, they get replay of this um of this uh training I'm giving to you. They get this replay. You understand now? So I, I will show you this um link. What is there before I round up today? Another resources I want to show you is the my fundraising mentors book many blessings the winning streak i know some of you on this government have purchased this book one way or the other uh 40 proven secrets so now i raise money uh for my business and now you too can do the same he about two years ago he won two fifty thousand us dollars who can help us to convert it to uh today's currency 250,000 US dollar to Naira. that was how much he won from how much he won from Google Impact Challenge all right just help us to do the calculation and you can just use 400 use 400 Naira and drop the the answer there and let's see how much it is that is how powerful grants are grants can transform your business and your life forever all right the book is 5,000 there. We are out of stock now, but if we see a lot of you request for, for it and you pay for it, we we'll order for it. Another book I want to recommend for you uh, is The 30 Laws of Money by my mentor, Dr. Abi Bola Bitoye. And the book is also 5,000 there now. The price has changed because uh, things have really gone up now. Then we have How to Create a Business That Thrives in Your Absence. Uh, the book also is 5,000 Naira. So if you want these books, reach out to me. I will definitely get it for you. I also have my book. If you're a student here, you need this book, Unleashing Your Entrepreneurial Potential. It, this is my first book. Uh, you can get it. This is just 1,000 Naira. You can reach out to me. Okay, so my number is here, 08060779290. So you can reach out to me, you get this book. You don't need to graduate into unemployment. If, if you are going to finish with the top class, it doesn't matter. Reach out to me to get this book. Uh, currently, I am working on my second book and I hope that by end of February, we'll be able to release it. Uh, by God's grace, we are doubling up on, on the work. The title of the book is Starting Out in Life and Business. Is a story of uh, how I started business and how I started life. Uh, it's like a 10 years uh, knowledge and experience put together. So the, the book, the, we are going to open uh, a, a WhatsApp link for people that would like to get the book immediately is out at a very good discount, all right? The link will get it across to you on the WhatsApp group uh, later, so that I uh, will give you this can also because the book we are targeting that the book is going to be ten thousand naira. Uh, you can either get the soft copy or the hard copy, but we are working on the, on the modalities because in the book you will see a life sample of a business plan. There, in the book you will see all these grants information. In the book you will see my story. 
In the book, you will see some of the things I learned from my uh, Bilonia mentor, Dr. Abim Olamitoe. In the book, you also learn so many things about life generally and, and all that. So, um, list of grants you can apply for in 2023. I've mentioned this one already, Tony Lumelu grant. Uh, we have the price, about $10,000. We have the assets grant, assets bank grant for women, 5 million naira. Uh, so you can screenshot all this as I'm running through it if you really want to document this. We have the Leap Africa Social Innovation Program. Uh, this one is very good. Uh, we encourage people to apply for this. Uh, the next one, we have the Oven Corner uh, Kingdom of Netherlands Grants. Uh, this one is about uh, 5,000 US dollar. Uh, we have another one, Kickstart. Uh, powered by the International Bureau's Foundation. This is a $2 million grant. You can apply for it. All of them have time that you can apply. But when you go to their website, you look for that time that you need to apply. Uh, Transforming Nigeria Youth. This is also a training program. I'm not sure it has a grant, but it's something that you can actually benefit from. Uh, the next one, we have the... Uh, SA Women in Tech Incubation Program is also a good one for women in tech. We have Creative Business Corp in Nigeria. It's another grant you can apply for. We have Agro Arc Challenge. All right. Every year they do this challenge, so you can apply for it. The next one, Agri Tech Challenge, is a challenge that you can apply for. We have Peach Agri Arc Competition. You can apply for this one also. We have Accelerating Women Climate uh, Entrepreneurs. So this one is for women uh, working in the climate change sector. So you can apply. Now, this one is GIZ, SAI's Investment Readiness Program. You can apply. Uh, we have the UNICEF Innovation Fund for startup. You can apply. They do it every year. We have Academy for Women Entrepreneurs. This one too, they do it every year. So you can Google all these things and see information about them and start planning yourself for it. We have the Accelerate uh, 2030. You can apply for this. Black Funder Funds Africa. You can apply for this. Africa Agri Food Development Program. You can apply for this. In my book that is coming out, we're actually planning 50, top 50 grants you can apply for. Uh, it's going to be, the list is going to be there. We have loan opportunities. DBN, Entrepreneurship Day Training Program, is a loan. We have the Lagos State Employment Trust Fund, is a loan. We have the Growth Fee Fund, is a loan. We have the Ashoka uh, Program. This one is not a loan, but you see this, that my mentor, many blessings, is an Ashoka Fellow. Before you can become an Ashoka Fellow, you must have an idea that will transform a whole sector. And he has one. They will give you a blank budget. They will, the process is always long, like a year. But if they pick you like this, they will just say, come up with your budget any month, and they will give it to you. Because you have to be detailed about how you want to use it. We have the BOI, it's a loan um, platform. BOI is Bank of Industry. There are a lot of people getting finance from back of industry to buy machines, equipment, and things like that. We have Nigeria uh, Youth Investment Fund. Uh, we have Bank of Agriculture and Spender Machine Fund. These are our opportunities. There are still a lot of them. We have Brave Women Nigeria Project. We have the West Africa Imagine Leader Program. That's Yali. I'm a fellow of this. Uh, yearly program. We have the Facebook Community Accelerator Program. Uh, this is the one that I said I applied for that they didn't pick me. Now we have Mandela Washington Fellowship. If you are here and you are not up to 35 years of age, let me see your hand up. I want to say something about this Mandela Washington Fellowship. You are on this call, you are not up to 35 years or you 
will be 35 by December or something. Let me see your hand up. I want to share an information with you about this Manila Washington Fellowship. Okay, I know I can see your hand. I know it's very, uh, she's very active on this call. So I, I believe we can take it uh, further from all the mentorship that we can do together. Okay, can they move? Now, what you need to do is this Marcella Washington Fellowship, you are going to spend six weeks. Okay, I'm amazed. Okay, awesome, awesome. So, so let's have a conversation after now so that we can uh, take it off for that from there. So uh, this Manila Washington Fellowship, you are going to go and spend six weeks in US and come back. Is it not a good form of Japa? All oh, expensive pay trip. You are not spending any money. They give you free visa. They give you free uh, plane ticket, a uh, free accommodation there. You spend six weeks and come back. I like something like that. I like traveling. My, my first international trip was to Dubai. It was a wonderful experience for me. Uh, currently, I'm planning a, a, to join one of my network marketing company to South Africa soon. We are planning it now. It's always a unique experience when you travel. So Mandela Washington Fellowship will take you to US and in six weeks, you will be back. The application starts around August. So what are you doing now to position yourself to win this fellowship program? When you get there, you, they will connect you with opportunities. You will win different grants and they will give you money when you are coming. They will support you, support what you are. They will keep supporting you because once you go and come back, you are now uh, a US uh, special candidate. Anything you want to do and you need their support, they will give it to you almost immediately. So you need to position for that. Okay, so I've said that we do a review for a token. So if you have not put down my contact, this is my contact 08060779290. Okay. Now, um, what you need to do now is start small, think big, and grow fast. Start small, think big, and grow fast. Think big, do things big. Any small thing you see, do it big. Somebody will see that this call, we are spending time with you on it. You understand, you didn't pay for coming here, even though we're, we're planning now to sell the replay, but we are doing it in a big way. We are planning for it. We are putting all our resources, all our knowledge to it. So our YouTube uh, video is here, our YouTube channel, so you can, Subscribe to get updates from our channel. Uh, this is the link. Now, for all of us on this call, you can shut me up on WhatsApp. I will send you this slide. All right. I'm not going to draw this slide in the group. It's only people that are purchasing it that will get it. But if you're on this call, you can send me a WhatsApp chat. I will forward you this particular slide uh, for you so that you can go through it and all that. <clears throat> the world is moving so fast that there are days when persons who say it can't be done is interrupted by people that are doing it. That's every first thing, fourth thing. <clears throat> I can, it can be done, okay? Don't tell us it can be done. It can be done, we can win grants. So time for questions. Uh, time for questions. If you have questions, I pull it here. I will definitely answer you. Then I will show you the sales page for the uh, grant um, program that I said is thirty thousand. I want you to be part of. Then we will end this call today. Questions? 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 Can we drop questions? Questions, questions.
So as the question keeps dropping, if you're on Facebook, uh, on our Facebook group, you can drop your questions also. Our team member will forward it to us so that we can answer your question. So uh, we have the first question. The first question is on age limit for the grant. <clears throat> All the grants that I've shared with you, they have their criteria. The Tony Elumelu grant, if you are 60 years old, 50, 60, even if you are 70 years old, you can apply for Tony Elumelu grants. The only thing is that you must be about 18 years old. All right? So that's the first thing that I want you to uh, take note of. The second thing I want you to take note of is that, for example, for women, for the Flourish Africa grant is 50 years old. If you are a woman and you are 49, you are 50, you can apply. But there are some other grants, they will say 18 to 35 years old. So you need to be sure of the age range. But if it's an NGO grant, there's no age limit. Because NGO is NGO. They don't have, they don't do an uh, age limit for NGO. All right. You can be any age. They give it to you. So uh, another one says, now if you are above 35 years of age, this is what we want you to do. Profile yourself so that you can be a mentor. I am above 35 right now. There are some of these grants I don't qualify for, but I qualify to be mentor. I qualify to be part of their panel. Uh, for example, I'm a peace judge for Tony Elmenu Foundation. I'm a mentor and peace judge for Tony Elmenu Foundation. I've also served as mentor for Teach for Nigeria, for... Um, some other platforms like that. So I'm already profiling myself as a judge, as a mentor, as a coach. You understand now? So when they need to run projects and they need people with experience, they call me. Like I said in my profile that I'm a short-time expert from Gopa Worldwide uh, Consultant. They are doing a project in Nigeria now that has to do with uh, entrepreneurship and MSME. I'm the go-to person they come to. So you want to profile yourself as an authority in your field once your age is above 35 years of age. So starting an NGO should money be the first priority. When you say money, I don't know what you mean by money. NGO is not for profit. So you are not starting it to make money. All right, <clears throat> you are starting it to make impacts. My own NGO, it took me seven years before I registered it. And in my organization, we can help you to do CSC registration. We do NGO registration, limited registration. We do business name registration. Our business name registration is 30,000 Naira. All right, our uh, are limited depending on the share capital and also our NGO. Close to 200,000, you'll be able to register your NGO in space of six to seven weeks. All right. So I've been running my NGO for seven years before I registered it officially. All right. So it's not about money, but if you get grants for your NGO, it's going to help you to scale your impact. If you train, 30 people in a year before. When you get grants, you can take, train 300. You can train 3,000. That's the essence of a grant. How much do you charge for seminar programs or conference? I just launched an NGO last week, Saturday. Uh, can NGO be owned as a team or should own personally to be positioned for grant? Okay, so uh, basically, how much do you charge for seminars, programs, or conferences? So what I do is, Depending on the location, all right? Depending on the location, you, if it's a church program, you just take care of transportation and honorarium. If it's not a church program, we ask you if it's a paid event or it's not a paid event, and we charge you based on what you want to achieve. 
in that uh, program. So that's how we go about um, seminars, programs, and conferences. So uh, you just started an NGO last week. So you are the visionary, but you have to get a team that works with you. You understand? And those things, for a start, they have to volunteer. You might not have money to pay them. In my NGO, we have more than 50 volunteers. Anytime we want to do physical program, our volunteers will come together. And we raise new volunteers anytime we are doing those things. Uh, one tip on how to win grants. I don't understand what you mean by learning how to pitch. Okay, pitch means presentation. They will ask you to come and present. All right? So that presentation, some can ask you to do video, like Tony Lumel grants now. They will ask you to talk about your business in three minutes in a video. So that is uh, pitching. Then you can also Google it and learn about it. So it's something straightforward and simple. Uh, Mr. Michael said, thanks so much for this impactful section. We have an NGO. We are planning to carry out a project on STEM, project for girls shy. How do we go about it? And how can you help? Okay, so basically, a STEM project is your thematic area. Then you now need to come up with your project title. Your project title could be that we want to train 20 girls on a particular, maybe on robotics. We want to train or teach 20 girls on robotics in TV schools in maybe on those states. That will not be the topic. So you now need to write a project proposal for it. You see the outline I've shared with us. So you write a project proposal for it. So that project proposal, I can help you to review it. But if you want my organization to write it for you, it's 250,000. But I can do free review for you if you write it on your own. So when you have your projects like that, you will now look for grants opportunity. But you need to go and start it with your own money. You need the funder need to put money down. So that by the time you are applying, you will say this idea, we have trained 20 people on our coding and robotics. And this is the evidence. Now we want to train 200 girls. Can you support us? That's how to do it. You must do something. So that's, I hope that we have. A good evening, sir. Which out of these two business, palm oil plantation, cocoa plantation, is more likely to win TF grants? Uh, plantation is a long-term business. So in practice, that $5,000 might not be enough for plantation. And if you do it, you will still be looking money at the looking for money at the end of the day. So if you want to go into oil palm, just go and set up oil palm processing factory that will cater for. Let's say you are in Ondo State, you have done your research. Only three oil palm factories in Ondo State, and the number of farmers that produce uh, plantation that we have in Ondo State is so much. So you want them to support you to start a palm, uh, palm oil factory, processing factory that will cater for 2,000 farmers in Ondo State. That's what they want to be hearing. By the time you win, you can now decide and look for additional money and do your palm oil plantation, no problem. But that idea that we, we have 2,000 uh, 2, farmers in Ondo State, they are interested in it. Do you get the idea now? But if you plant now, how many people will benefit from what you are planting? Until five years, you will just be spending money, spending money, spending money. It's not going to work that way. But if you have a processing factory that we, that we have uh, 2,000 farmers in Ondo State, and it will help them to reduce post-service loss, 
a way then to make more money income because maybe you also have a marketing plan for them in such a way that they just sell it up for you they said they are palm oil plantation and you are buying it at a good you know you create a story around that there is no way they will not pick you which other business in agriculture sector is more likely to win any business in a week can win. It is the business model that wins, not the name. For example, when you hear poetry, eh? when you hear poetry, it's not poetry that wins, it's the business model around poetry. So you want to ask yourself, really, what is the business model around what you do? That is what is going to win. And that's the innovation. Uh, another person says, sir. How much for the project template for STEM projects? That one is 25,000. So you can uh, edit it to suit what you want to. So it's a template that follow all the procedure for writing NGO, um, for, for writing a, a sample uh, project proposal. So when you receive it, it's not the name of your company that is on it. It's not in the name of your uh, it might not be your location, but you start editing it, but you see the way they communicate those things, monitoring and evaluation, the way they communicate it, uh, the method you want to use, the way they communicate it. So that's how uh, it is. So if you need that, we can talk after this call. I, I think we have um, done with our question. So I'm going to... Um, the last thing I want to do is to show us the uh the link to the grant course i want to introduce to us then we are going to end this conversation today uh if you want my contacts i'm displaying right now you can screenshot it if you want to invite me for training seminars and conferences i'm available for you uh this year is going to be very tight because I'm getting a lot of invitations. And then uh, if you follow me well on Facebook, you will see that I upload those invitations every time I have invitation. Already this, uh, this month, we have three invitations already uh, that is already there. Uh, Fatima say thank you, sir. I really learned a lot from this session. We are happy that you've learned a lot. So my number is 08060 so if you got value from this session, let me know in the comment section where I share uh, this other link with you. And uh, from there, uh, we will uh, be rounding up to call it a day today. Um, okay, uh, can we see my screen uh, that, that I'm sharing a link? Uh, somebody saying, when is the mentorship uh, class starting? Okay, I'm showing you that now. I uh, got value. So uh, to uh, move forward in our uh, coaching and mentoring for grants, I recommend that we get this particular material or uh, training uh, that I'm going to show you now. Uh, th this lady, uh, she has done a lot of work in this industry and I'm promoting it, all right? How to assess as little as 200,000 to 20 million there are free business funding, uh, resources and lots more. Uh, I also make money by helping other small businesses, all right? If you know you are a small business, you are, all your employees, they are not up to 10. Then this thing I'm showing you, you have to take it seriously. So like I said, she has done a lot of work. Uh, see people, she has helped to win grants. See this person, uh, 4.8 million. Uh, see all these people. Uh, I'm going to show us uh, some things now. I will share this link with us so that you can uh, access to read it in your own pace. So when I saw what she has done, I decided to promote the work it is my industry. So I know what is good for you, what is not good for you. And once you get this, 
we are going to now, we are going to be working together. All right. It's not compulsory, you also get this, but it's an resources that I think is going to help you. Now, see this person now, Nigeria Development and Reorientation Program. This person won 250,000 there. All right. Um, these are a lot of people in our community that have won our grants. So the, the title of the course is Grant Winning Blueprint. Okay, and then um, you will learn a lot of things like uh, he has some strategy that she used also to win uh, grants. She had a system uh, that she used, like look at this one now, a uh, 300,000 uh, grant. Uh, what they include in this course, uh, phase one, uh, getting ready, uh, like somebody that talk about pitching, here you will learn how to win online pitches. You need to learn how to win pitches. Uh, phase two, she call it set, and phase three, she call it go. So she has a lot of solid story. Just know that this is five hundred thousand won by our clients and um, all that. So I'm going to share this with you. Uh, how much is it? I'm going to show you now. How much is it? is 30,000 Naira. All right, you can get it tonight. Once you get it, I'm going to add you to my mentoring WhatsApp group for people that have purchased this uh, from me. Then I uh, will, she also has a group that she was going to add you. Then we work together because this is about information. You are not highlighted of knowledge. All the things I've shared with you today, I learned it from my mentor and I keep telling you. So you are not an island of uh, knowledge. You learn from other people, you network and things like that. So the price is 30,000 Naira, all right? And um, by the time we start the mentorship, if you also want to be mentoring other people to win grants, especially uh, people that want to join the business plan writing and certification program, I will show you some other things where you can make money. You see, making money is not difficult, especially once you know what you are doing. Making money is not difficult. There are a lot of opportunities today that in your field, you can take advantage uh, of. So the, the program is 30,000 Naira. Like I said, you can get it right now. I will share the link uh, in the in the WhatsApp group. If you are not on the WhatsApp group, let's know so that we can add you uh, there. So we are running up now. Uh, I want to take a group picture for this edition. Then we call it a day. So I'm going to stop this now and uh, give the opportunity for us to have a group picture before we start uh, end today's call. So you can open your video. So we have a, a group uh, coach. I want to appreciate my team. We have our manager here, Mr. Peter. Uh, Mr. Peter, you can read the house. I want to appreciate you for the support you are doing. Um, for uh, that. Appreciate you for the support you are doing. Thank you very much, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. It's a privilege to be amongst you. Okay, thank you very much. I think we have feedback from you. Okay, so let's um let's open a video so that we'll take a, a good picture uh from here. Let's open our videos. Okay. Let's open our videos.
Okay, so we are going to do, uh, we are going to take the pictures now. We've not all opened our video. Okay. Uh, Let's open our videos. Um, okay, so just give us a few seconds. We'll be done in a short while. We'll be done in a short while. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Do anybody has any comments you want to say before we close? You want to maybe uh, a question you want to say verbally? Uh, you have comments generally you want to say before we close? You just raise up your hand and we'll, we'll give you the opportunity. Just one or two people. Just one or two people, anybody like that? You have something to say and you want to say it so that we can capture it in your record or you want to appreciate us and so that we can capture your record. Okay, uh, I know you are welcome. You can unmute yourself now, great. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. I just want to appreciate you. I want to commend your effort. Sincerely, it is, it is really commendable. So I pray for more elevation in Jesus' name. Thank you so much. I so much appreciate it. Amen. Thank you very much. We really appreciate it. Any other person that wants to do that? Uh, Taiwo say, just to say thank you, sir. We, we appreciate you. Thank you, Taiwo. Uh, any other general comment, appreciation, you can put that on the meet that so that we can also show sure that then we end the uh, meeting. Subsequent trainings, we pick other topics. Next more topic definitely will not be on grant. It will be on another topic that is going to be well um, impactful as well as this. All right. So thank you, everybody. We are ending the call now. Thank you all. We appreciate you.